Hello everyone, this is Lisa, some people for handcrafts. Now I've noticed over the past couple of weeks, kind of almost like days, in both the sock knitting machine group and in the circular knitting machine group for Addies and all brands, a lot of people have been asking, can you make socks with the Addy slash Centro slash Jamit or the whatever other names it comes under? Um, and then I've seen it in the sock machine group, people asking, can they mix socks with the big plastic machines? And so, I mean, it, there's been a lot of people, surprisingly, and over the past, you know, year or two, this has been a question. And it was my question when I first saw these machines, which is why uh, it was like a decade before I even got one. And the answer is... No, but the answer is yes too, and I'll explain to you why. So we're going to start with the circular sock machine because it's not in the same position over my table where I'm going to film. So I, I want to start here first and it's pretty large and it's heavy. So I don't want to move it over there. So I'm just going to talk about it. If you have not seen any of my other sock machine videos, this is what is called a CSM or a circular sock machine. This particular model is a New Zealand auto knitter, uh, which means that it was made in New Zealand by Jackie Grant and it was styled after the antique auto knitter machine. So if you find an antique auto knitter machine, basically the needles and cylinders for the new New Zealand auto knitter should work in that machine because that's the style it was after. Uh, this machine, as you can see, has a cylinder uh, that is maybe about three or four inches in diameter. I'm just now thinking about it. Wish I had measured it, but roughly uh, that's about the diameter of this machine. And it has these needles, which are 12 gauge and you can see how small they are, um, maybe relative to a sewing needle, since I don't have a comparison. My big darning needles, um, it's maybe a, just a little thicker than the big darning needles. And roughly for hand needles, um, this thing is probably a one for a hand needle. Because normally when I knit socks, I would use a three and I could not get my sock rockets into that space. I think I had to go down to a one and a half or two. So that's relatively the gauge that it knits at. And when we say gauge, that is going to be really important. Now, it takes a sock yarn, like a real actual sock yarn. And I believe um, it was somewhere around 2000 yards per pound, R roughly in that area. Maybe, maybe it might take 18, 19, but that's a pretty good space for it. Maybe 2,200. Okay. So this is a machine that is made specifically for sock type yarn. You want sock yarn. You want a fingering weight yarn. Maybe you can push it to a heavy fingering, but not much more than that. So you can see how narrow those spaces are. Um, if that's a quarter of an inch, maybe a quarter of an inch, because there's not a lot of room for yarn to go down in there. And you can look at di the diameter and you can kind of judge, you know, how big this tube is going to be. And so you can have other cylinders and you can get, you know, maybe a tiny bit smidgen thicker on the yarn. And you can crank up the, uh, or I should say crank down the tension and make something wider. My average sock is somewhere between 9 to 10 stitches per inch. And you can get something a little bigger, but you still got this thin yarn, so you have to consider that when it comes to gauge. Okay? This is the kind of machine that makes a sock that would be like a hand-knit wool sock. And depending on what cylinder you're using, you can get a thin stocking. You can get a dress sock with the right yarns. So yes, this is a sock 
machine. So let me take you over to the table with the Eddie. So yes, there are dolls in the background because honestly, this has become their table until I already for Christmas. Now, this is the Eddie. I have both an Eddie and a Centro. And it actually doesn't matter which one I talk about because basically, um, with, with a few exceptions, they are the same. The large Centro I have has 48 needles. This Addy King size has 46. Um, does that make a difference? I think so. Some people will say no, but it, to me it makes a difference because the Centro is actually a little bigger than the Addy because of those extra two needles. And the bigger the cylinder is, the bigger the fabric is. Okay, so it's a gauge thing. It's just like knitting needles. Bigger needles bigger fabric even on the same yarn so it actually does make a difference to me as far as gauge all right now um the price difference is incredibly different too so you could get quite a few uh centros before you add up to the eddy supposedly one is supposed to last longer than the other because it's more expensive and german made so we will find out won't we so compare the size of this machine to the size of that circular sock, sock machine. We're talking about gauge again. If you're comparing a size two uh, um, knitting needle versus a size 11 knitting needle. And uh, in this case, well, you know what? I probably want to say in this case, maybe an eight. Oh, so, okay, so let's compare a size one knitting needle to a size eight knitting needle. And since I made that statement, I might as well reach over to the knitting case and let's see I don't even use size one knitting needles somewhere in the world there is a pair of double pointed this is a 2.75 I guess this will have to do the job and uh those are the I think those are the Addies. uh and yes the same Eddie that makes the knitting needles my sock rocket or yeah, well, you know what? I have a pair of Eddie sock rockets and a pair of Chicago, I think it's called. Anyway, I love those things. Um, that's the same Eddie. Same Eddie. Knitting needles, Eddie. Knitting machine, Eddie. Same company. Okay, let's let's say that here we go. Oh, I see it over there, but we're going to skip that. And then I'm going to want oh, size 8 now. Size 8 is my most frequently used knitting needle and the, there's uses stuck in projects. Okay, so look at the difference. And when you look at fabric, um, there's gonna be a huge difference in the size of these needles and the gauge of this machine, okay? This is what you're gonna get. For the circular sock machine, you're using a thinner yarn, you're using smaller needles, you have a smaller cylinder, so you get a very tight knit for the addy or the centro you have much bigger needles you have a much bigger cylinder you're going to get a much looser gauge so you're going to wind up well you know what that's not quite representative and i'll tell you why something like and everything slides off when they're not on camera like that okay look at this difference that's a big difference. Okay. That's worse to weight yarn. Worse to weight yarn would not even fit inside of the circular sock machine. Okay. This is fingering yarn. So that's what we're talking about. So if you try to put fingering yarn, well, let's see what happens. When you knit, you get a tube that big, you're going to get a sock like this. Okay. Because this is the kind of yarn this thing takes. Uh, sport and uh worsted you're gonna get something like this okay it's not a sock that you put in your shoe it's a bed sock a bed slipper this is the gauge we're talking about hats scarves bits slippers so if you try to put a thinner yarn in here so this is what you wind up with this is my thinner hand spun yarn and it's not very tight the stitches are a little smaller but it's pretty open and if you try to put anything thinner than that look at this this is a really open weave look how big these or open knit look how big these stitches are 
okay, so putting thinner yarn inside of this machine is not going to give you a sock like this. So can you make socks on the Add In Essential? Yes, you can do hand manipulation where you can turn heels and things like that, and you'll wind up with a big, thick sock. A stocking or a bed sock, which is cool. But if you are someone who is wanting to make actual socks that go in your actual shoes, um, that's not how that is going to work. You need a circular sock machine. Okay, so the thing about circular sock machines, well, think about Eddie. I mean, the Eddie's is always is usually like 300 bucks. So it's not exactly cheap either. It is all plastic though. Thing about circular sock machines is unless you happen to fall into one antique or just some random one, you're not really going to get one for under $300. And if you get one for under $300, you're going to be trying to put together something that may or may not have been used or has been out in the rusty barn. So if you're a beginner, not only are you trying to figure out how the machine works, but you're trying to figure out how to put it together. And that is a recipe for um, hardship. You know, if you like tinkering, go ahead and tinker until you get it together. But it's often easier to learn on something that is correct. Because that way you know that it is you and not the machine's fault and you don't frustrate yourself. Okay, so at any rate, usually... Even on the second-hand market, circular knitting machines are generally at least $1,000. So it is an investment. And it's best to get the best one that you can, unless you are seriously into mechanical tinkering and you think you can put together something that's used. There are some 3D circular sock machines that you can buy or that you can get plans you can print. I don't actually recommend them for beginners. Unless, well, it's, it's easier to do use them if you already know how to use a circular sock machine because they, they're not quite the same. Um, yeah, there are some things you can't do with them. So they're not quite the same. But if you've got $600 laying around and you are determined to get a sock name machine, uh, I want to say it's the Dean and Bean. Oh, I cannot remember. But I will find that link. And uh, put that up there because they're great people and they can help you. They can walk you through the process, you know, so you can give that a try. But it, the $300 Eddie's or the, you know, $50 Centros, if you're trying to make actual socks that you want to wear every day in shoes, they don't make those kind of socks. And when I tell people that they kind of get upset, but it's, it's just the truth. You know, it's like saying, can you cook a souffle in an easy bake oven? I mean, you can make a tiny souffle, but <laughs> there's just not really a comparison. They're not, they're not the same things. Pot, uh, what is those, those pot holder looms are not the same as weaving looms, you know, um, there's not really a comparison. So you kind of have to. Um, invest in the money for an actual sock machine or you're pretty much hand socking it. This thing is going to be great for hats and scarves, sweaters, bed socks, uh, mittens and um, fingerless mitts and all that kind of stuff. They just do different things. Okay, so I hope that makes sense to you. And if you have any other questions um, about it, let me know and I'd be happy to make another video about the... Um, Eddie, the Centro comparisons or whatever. I do have a big playlist already for my circular sock machine. So those are videos I do frequently enough. And I'm going to do a video in a couple days or so about the fingerless mitts on the Eddie. They are really super easy. So if you're in the fingerless mitts, um, I'll have that out for you soon. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, click that subscribe button. I'm pretty sure at some point I'll make some kind of video that you'll like. And make sure to click the like button on the video. I really want to get this channel growing so I can build a community. And the like button helps YouTube know they need to push this video out so that some other crazy crafters can watch. Take care.
Hey, as a sidebar, I just want to point out that you can make socks on a flatbed knitting machine. Um, you have to seam them up, but it's a it can be done so that if you uh, can't invest in either the Dean Bean, oops, Dean and Bean, uh, 3D printed sock machine or even a antique or used circular sock machine, flat knit, flat, ah, oh, boy, that's hard, flat bed knitting machines. There we go. Um, it's possible to make socks that way and they are more affordable and easier to get your hands on. I mean, even that ultimate sweater knitting machine, which I saw years ago and I regret not buying, um, that will, with some, a little bit of modifications, you can flat socks. They, like I said, they do have a seam, but that may or may not bother you because for centuries socks had seams. Well, stockings had seams in, in one way or other because they were wrapped with woven material. So keep that in mind. Alrighty, thanks. <laughs>